Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. Recently, I made two videos on NixOS. And after I made my two videos, NixOS came out with a new version of their operating system. So my videos were made with NixOS 24.11. And the new ISOs and the new version of NixOS are 25.05. So in my second video of NixOS, that video was made. That installation of NixOS was made with a minimal ISO that was 1.2 gigabytes and it was 24.11 or version 24.11 and it came with no desktop environment and it came with no Calamari's installer. It actually took you to a TTY and you had to go through a manual install kind of similar to Arch Linux. So in this video, I'm going to go into that virtual machine and I'm going to manually upgrade it to 25.05 and i'm not going to update the 24.11 version because the 24.11 version can still be updated with security patches a newer point kernel firefox apps and everything 24.11 can still be updated until the end of june so i didn't update 24.11 i bypassed it and upgraded the whole system to next os 25.05 and today i'm going to show you how i did that so let's get to it right now i'm in my real bare metal computer i'm in arch linux with the awesome window manager and i'm going to open up my virtual machine software my favorite virtual machine software is the vert manager i'm going to click it on next manual video let's click it on let's play it or boot into it and let's make it full screen and let's hit enter so this is a virtual machine from my second Nix OS video where I downloaded the minimal ISO that's only 1.4 gigabytes. And I went through a manual install in the TTY and we're booting into it and we're at the display manager or the login manager. Let's click this on. You can see all I have is the awesome window manager installed. There's no GNOME desktop. There's no, uh, there's no desktop whatsoever. I didn't even install Qtile. <laughs> just the awesome window manager that's the only thing that's installed and of course we're at light dm the display manager or the login manager and let's put my password in and there we are we're in the awesome window manager with my configuration file it's not the default awesome so let's click on external so this one is not going to go through an automatic update of 24.11 because i didn't have that in the configuration file let's just do an htop look at this oh boy <laughs> so this virtual machine, like always, this virtual machine has uh, four processors, four gigs of RAM, and no swap. Look at this, we're running at 203 megabytes of RAM. Not bad, eh? <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to quit out of there, and I'm going to go into Etsy, NixOS, let's LS it, and let's sudo into the configuration file. Actually, I should do sudo vim config. Let's put my password in. So let's just let's just do uh set and you let's just do a search for update see i don't have that file in there so and actually i think i don't like the automatic updates i don't know if i really like that <laughs> I, I like to have more control so when i made this virtual machine i didn't put the uh, commands in the configuration file to do an automatic update or an automatic reboot when a new kernel is installed i didn't put that in there let's just quit out of there i just wanted to check it to make sure oh why is it saying it's 10 after 10 at night? 10, 10 p.m.? It's only 6 o'clock. Why is it showing universal time? Universal coordinated time. Let's go. Now I have an alias to get into my config. Let's go in. Now, uh, right here, let's do uh, that and you. And line 27, it looks right. My time zone. America is spelled right. Let's change this Eastern to Toronto. Maybe that's going to fix it. And let's rebuild next. Rebuild. That, that's it. So, let, so I have an alias to rebuild next. It's called build next. Let's hit enter. Now it's not going to update the system, but I want to see if I can fix that time zone. Oh, look at that. It fixed it. <laughs> well, it only took a couple of seconds, and there it is. It's now showing 612. So I guess I shouldn't, put, I shouldn't have put America slash Eastern in my configuration file. It should be American slash Toronto. Look at that. It fixed it. And I thought I was going to have to reboot, but I didn't. Isn't that amazing? Okay. So now that's better. Now let's open up uh, 
LibreWolf. And I'm going to update this system, upgrade this system without updating it. Well, you know what? Let's just, uh, let's just go to another workspace. You know what? Let's open up a terminal. Let's just use my mouse. Go into X term and let's type in fast fetch. So you can see we're on NixOS 2411 by Kuna. We're on kernel 6690. Okay. And um, what I'm going to do is clear the screen. I'm not going to update 2411. I'm just going to go straight upgrading it to version 25. Then I'm going to go back to uh, here, my LibreWolf, and let's type in next OS. And let's go here. Let's click that on. And let's go to read the announcement 25.05 released. So upgrade instructions. And let's just, I'm not going to use my mouse. <laughs> So I'm going to add this one in. I'm just going to copy it into the terminal. We're changing the channel from 2411 to 25.05. Just copy it. Let's go back to my terminal. Let's type in sudo. Let's insert it. Okay. And let's hit enter. Let's put my password in. And that's done. Now I'm going to go back here. I'm going to scan down to this command. I'm just going to highlight this command. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back to my terminal. And again, I'm going to type in sudo. And I'm going to insert it in. I'm going to hit enter. And let's see if it's going to work on this virtual machine, which is my manual install, my minimal manual install of NixOS. Now let's look at the time. What is it? It's 619. Let's see if this is going to work because we bypassed updating version 2411. So with this virtual machine, we're bypassing upgrading 2411, we're going directly to 25.05. And let's see if it's going to work. We started at what? 619? I'm going to pause the video and come back. So don't go away. Okay, it's done. So that took about um, four minutes. That's not bad. Four minutes for a major upgrade from one version of the operating system to another version of the operating system. Not bad at all. So because this is a manual upgrade, I have to reboot. And I have to have my mouse on the right monitor. So let's type in reboot. And let's hit enter. And let's see if it worked. There we are, we're at the login screen. Let's type in my password and let's log into the awesome window manager. And my time zone is still correct. It didn't get ruined. <laughs> so I had it typed in wrong. So let's open up uh, HTOP. Let's see how we're doing. So here we are. We're at, uh, with my four processors are calm. I have uh, four gigs of RAM and no swap. And we're running at 222 megabytes of RAM. Not bad, eh? <laughs> Sorry. So anyways, let's close that. I always do that, right? So let's open up Xterm and let's type in fast fetch and there we are it worked we're on nixos version 25.05 we've upgraded to a next level of the kernel we're on kernel 612.30 and it worked and that's it in this video i opened up a virtual machine of nixos and it was a virtual machine i made from a minimal iso that is 1.2 gigabytes and that ISO doesn't have any desktop environment on it, and it doesn't have the Calamari's installer. It takes you to a TTY, and you have to do a manual install that's similar to Arch Linux. Well, not exactly the same. <laughs> and that version of NixOS was 24.11. And you can still get updates for NixOS 24.11 until the end of June. But I didn't update NixOS 24.11. I bypassed it and upgraded the whole system to the most current version of NixOS, the brand new version of NixOS, 25.05. And you know what? It was really easy. I'm amazed. I'm really impressed. I thought it was going to be hard to upgrade it or difficult. Like the upgrade took about three and a half minutes. That's right. I said it. You heard me right. Three and a half minutes. It was so easy. Oh, I am so impressed with NixOS. I'm going to give it two thumbs up. So if you're on NixOS 24.11, don't be afraid to upgrade it to 25.05. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Lennox Mensch.